All right, I think uh, Garrison's ready in the other room. Jacob Turner, why don't you go first? Hey, Garrison, appreciate you taking the time to do this, man. Um, you've obviously, you know, played in your fair share of Duke Carolina games in your career at Carolina. Um, is there any particular, I'm just curious, is there any particular moment, any particular game that kind of stands out to you the most when you think about this rivalry in your head? Uh, of course, the game where, I mean, it's like Danny Green's dunk. I think that's one of the bigger moments. Uh, that's something that's that's something I just remember, like, as a little kid, seeing that. And for a moment that I was in, like, myself, um, we met President Obama my sophomore year. That was that was great, man. It was a surreal moment. It was just pretty much, like, what, you, what you're expecting when you see everybody there and you know everybody's watching. When he came in our locker room, it was just you knew everybody's eyes were, were locked in for that game. Thanks, guys. Andrew Jones. Hi, right, Garrison. There's not going to be any fans there tomorrow. You've experienced that place three times when it was typically way, uh, the way Cameron is for a Duke Carolina game. Uh, what do you think it's going to be like? And are you disappointed that there won't be fans there, that the other guys that haven't experienced this won't have that experience tomorrow? Yeah, man. I mean, of course it's disappointing. It's the biggest rivalry in all the sports. It's something that you look forward to. I was talking to Kerwin Walter earlier this week. He was like, man, that's one of the games like, you really look forward to when you sign to Carolina. Like, that atmosphere and just that, just the build up for that game is great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Greg Barnes. Hey, Garrison. Given the, the up and down play of the team at times this year, kind of what's been the most challenging aspect for you as a kind of a senior leader for this team? Yeah, just, um, I mean, it's, I mean, it's just a season up and down for us. Um, just trying to just keep us uplifted, keep us working hard, and um, just keep us going on the right track and keep getting better every day. I think that's something that I try to do. And given, given how well the team played in January, how did the team kind of bounce back after the, the Clemson loss the other night? I think, we, I mean, we practiced really well. I think that's something you have to do. You have to see yourself practice well and, do it right in practice first before you can do it right on Saturday. So we're gonna have a great have a great practice today. We're gonna take everything we do today. We're gonna do it Saturday, and it's gonna be good for us. Thanks, Ross. Go ahead. Yeah, Garrett's kind of building off that question from Greg. Um, what was practice like, and what was the kind of the message after the loss to Clemson uh, from Coach and, and from the staff the last couple of days? Yeah, um, we just had the same energy, same effort uh, that we had in practice. Coach thought we uh, practiced a little bit harder and a little bit more attentive and with a lot more energy and practiced the two days before the Clemson game. And he hopes that we just bring that same thing, practice great Friday, and bring that to the game Saturday instead of leaving in practice. CL. Garrison, uh, what what did you see specifically out of Armando coming off of a game like he had against Clemson? Um, how do you feel like he's going to bounce back on Saturday? I mean, he's going to be himself. I think that's uh, something he's always going to do. He's, he's never going to get outside of himself, go and try to do something crazy. Um, he just comes in. He's going to work hard every day. I think that's something that he came in yesterday to try to do. I think it's good for him. I mean, it's – I mean, every day is not going to be your birthday. You're not going to play well every time, but it's just how you come back from that next that next game. Uh, Kiara, look. Hey, Garrison. I know um, a lot of times we focus on everything that's been going left or things that you're working on. What are some some of the bright points of this season? Things that you've been enjoying? Uh. That's tough. I mean, it, it's fun because I mean, we. I mean, I feel like I'm a lot closer to my teammates now. Um, a lot closer with Walker Miller. I convinced Kerwin Watson that he can talk. I mean, it's, it's something interesting, man. It's just uh, I think we're closer as a as a team this year, just because I mean we can't really interact with anyone outside of our outside of our team. So I think it, it builds us uh, a bond for us better. Mark Armstrong. Uh, Garrison, DJ Stewart at Duke said yesterday that he expects you guys to challenge their toughness and said that uh, you're going to try to punk them. Is there an element of these games in the first couple minutes of each game where there is this kind of feeling out of where each team is coming from on that night? Yeah, I mean, we 
we pretty much going to do the same thing every time. We're going to come in, try to get the ball inside, dominate on the boards, and that's pretty much it. I'm not, not going to say we're going to try to punk them, but we're going to just be ourselves and we're going to be yourself as we can. Andrew Jones. I also wanted to ask you about Matthew Hurt, kind of a unique player. What what are the challenges in having to deal with a guy like that? Yeah, a really good player. Uh, really going to step out on the floor, shoot the ball, put the ball on the ground a little bit from the five position. So it's a, it's a challenge. So, uh, what, what is the, what's the key in, in dealing with a guy like that? Eliminating his touches. I mean, he can't. I mean, it's tough. It's it's tough to stay in front. I mean, it's tough for him to score with the without the ball. So we try to limit his touch as much as we can. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Anything else for Garrison? That's all the hands. But if any, we can take a couple more if anybody's got one. All right, you're off the hook, Garrison. Thank you. Everybody, hang on.